All right, let's go. What the f Hello, dear friends and hobbies, to welcome back to my channel. I am Corey. In this new video, I'm going to do another unboxing. I was in the process of doing a Corey Paints, and I was actually filming that, until something very beautiful came in my mail just today, and I couldn't wait. I have to show you it right now. The Corey Paints will wait. This is the more important thing right now that I want to show you. And I'm talking about this bad boy here. What you're seeing right here are the Einerjar. I think I pronounced it correctly, I think. The Einerjar from the Dead Fields miniature line manufactured by War Games Atlantic. I have to be honest, I am so happy that I have finally received this into my mailbox. Uh, because I pre-ordered this a uh, month ago, but unfortunately War Games Atlantic had a little bit of a problem with their shipment. Uh, there was a lot of delays, uh, but finally in Europe and I think also Australia New Zealand, New Zealand they are finally available. And uh, I don't think they are still available in America, they are still waiting, I guess. But if you are European, well, you're lucky, you can have one of these box right now. What we are talking here are actually a basically space dwarfs vikings viking space dwarfs i mean an alternative a, a plastic kit for your squats basically because gw doesn't have released a squats army we don't know if they even are going to do that but we can use one of these key to actually build a squat army maybe you can actually build an astro militarum army with this kit because with this box you can actually build 24 miniatures which is a tons of model that you can build so the box is here let's go to the hobby table so that we can finally see what's inside but of course this is not a sponsored video although um a war games atlantic if if you if you're watching this i i know that i am only 100 subscriber but maybe one day i will reach a thousand so so maybe if you if you want to you know the, ju just let me know the the content if you can you can contact me through instagram down in the description you know so if, if you if you want i'm just just i'm just it's it's a suggestion right okay stop fooling around let's open the box and see what's inside all right, Obi Table, Einurjar, War Games Atlantic, the Death Fields. The greatest port is War, a 24 multi part hard plastic, 28 millimeter figure. I have paid this kit $35 without, of course, shipping. Now, this is the front of the box. These are uh, an example of the models that have been built and painted and this is a very nice art artwork that we have here and also on the back of the box we have the same artwork another photos with another plastic kit made by war games atlantic which are the grognard i think and um yeah it's a very cool photo and also what i really like here is that they provide you with an actual lore of this unit so then you can draw maybe a little bit of inspiration maybe on how to paint them or maybe also to build the lore of your army who knows i really really like this so there we are now let's open the box and see what's inside all right let's see wow I, a huge amount of plastic i can see that you're here let's go all right oh the pieces fell off so these are all of the sprues let me just uh let me just work this thing out okay so there are eight sprues here inside with that, that are all basically identical you will find everything you need to build 24 of these models let me just take one because basically they're, they're all the same basically so we have five nine i guess yeah nine ten eleven twelve uh 13 we have 13 different heads that you can use also the fur to put on the shoulder of the models uh, all different type of arms there are also melee weapons with an axe uh, knife 
also a shield. This is very Viking, uh, f Viking flavor. I love this. Um, and here are the bodies. Uh, the legs and the torsos are molded together, which is okay. There are no problem there. Oh, there is also a drinking horn here, and these are all the rifles. Now these they now these sprues give you the possibility to build also a uh, a huge variant of special weapons. You can see here that are not only the standard rifles, but also you have. Uh, for example, the grenade launcher. You have this is this this right here is a plasma gun, also a flamethrower. I mean, you can build whatever you want. There's also a backpack for your uh, voxcaster if you also want one. Very very nice indeed. And I also think that the the, the arm with with the axe you can use. There's also a pistol here. Uh, the arm with the axe you can use it for building a maybe a platoon commander or company commander, whatever you want. Because let's let, let's be honest. This is basically they they, they created this to to basically have your uh, imperial guard variants, which is very cool because. You can build 24 models. I mean, for $35, you can build twice as much of the regular infantry because the infantry squad for the Imperial Guard is a 10 man squad. With this, you can build ten, two 10 man squads and all of the variants for the special weapons that you want. Now, the, there are only two things that I not very like about this kit, which are which is just me bitching a little bit. It's nothing really... It, there's no problem about it. I love this kit. First of all, there are no plastic bases inside here. They give you the models, but they don't give you plastic bases inside. Which, it's not a problem. You can always go and buy plastic bases from a different retailer. Uh, there's no problem about that. The problem is that also you have to go and buy bases from somebody else. So that's the thing that I would like to see inside here. But also, uh, there are no instructions here. You have to figure out how to build them, which is not very complicated. It's just a head, two arms and torsos and legs that are molded together. It's not very complicated. You can do this without the instruction. Just maybe... Uh, well, I'm speaking for myself because, well, I'm doing this for, for years now and I can build basically everything with my eye cl eyes closed. But maybe for someone that is getting into the hobby, it, maybe it could be a little bit overwhelming to see all of these pieces and just have to figure out what to do, how to do it, which which position, etc. Again, these are not problem at all. This is just me complaining about things that aren't very a problem. Now, let me just snip some pieces, glue them together, and see how these models present themselves. All right, here we are. I have just built two of the Ainuria of the of the kit, as you can see here. Um, it was quite easy. The, the, the pieces all uh, fit perfectly together. Um, I just made a guy with a plasma gun and another guy with a rifle or a pistol you know, and a knife. So, yeah, they are cool. I really love them. I... I... I really like all the details of the model, like the beards and all of the little things. Now, I have just uh, glued the arms and the head onto the model. There are a lot of things that you can add, for example, the fur onto their shoulder or even uh, uh, backpacks. And there are a lot of things that you can do with them. I really like the endless possibility that they give you with uh, this kit. Well, not endless, but let's just say a lot of possibility. Also here, I have some miniatures of the Imperial Guard, and not only that, to have a comparison. So, this is your regular infantry, Cadian infantryman here. Also, I have here a Tempestus Scion, and now you will understand why. And also, this is the comparison with one of the original squat. Yes, I have also the, some plastic uh, squat. These were the squats of the original plastic kit of those years. And uh, you can see that the Ainuria are uh, very, very slim. <laughs> and the, the original squat were very, very round and very, very thick. 
but and but the inner ear are uh, more slim, with which it's okay because well, this came, this I think came out from the eighties. This is a twenty twenty uh, miniature. Now, as I said before, you can use them as your regular cadence. No problem with that. In fact, you have twenty four model to build and paint inside this box. But what if? What if you use them as your Tempestus Scions? Because making them Scions, you will squeeze out even more value out of this kit. Just because they look very elite, as you can see. They have their plasma guns, their grenade launcher. They don't have a variant for the Hotshot Volley Gun, but I think that with a little bit of kit bashing here and there, you can do something with that. Yeah, I think I'm going to use them as my Tempestus Scion. Also because with the axe and the shield, I think that, that you can pull out a very, very cool looking Tempestor Prime with that. I mean, a Tempestor Prime with an axe and a shield, that would look amazing. So yeah, these were the Aineriar completely built. In the future I'm going to paint some of them so that you can see them completely painted. Uh, maybe in a Cori paint, who knows. So these were the Aineria from Wargames Atlantic. You can find the link of their website down in the description and also you will find a link to my Instagram. So if you want to follow me on Instagram you can also do that, I would really appreciate that. And also leave a like, subscribe and let me know down in the comments what you think about the, this plastic miniature that you have seen with me right now. So. Hope you have fun with me, thanks for watching, I am Cory and see you the next time. God damn it. Did, did I ruin it? Did... did... Ugh, maybe I... God damn it. Well, I have nothing to do right now, I, I'm in lockdown, so I guess I... I can paint, I have a lot of time to paint things.